Our Heavenly Father sends us countless messages full of love and light. However, I understand that many people do not understand this message and ignore this divine message. But if you're here, if you've clicked on this video, it's because your heart feels the call that God is giving you. Today he has incredible gifts for your life, your health, your finances, and your emotional life. Subscribe to the channel, like it and share it with anyone who needs God's words. And if you want to support the channel with more value or even become a channel member to grow more. This is a day when divine grace overflows into your life, bringing prosperity, bringing solutions and bringing the financial victory you've been looking for. It's beautiful and inspiring to see how God works, how he moves on our behalf, lights our way and answers our cries. And I feel in my heart that this is the moment for you to unite. It's a time to experience the abundance that God has in store for you. Stay with me until the end and you'll see what happens. Listen very carefully. If you truly believe in the transformative power of faith, please stay with me. But if you don't believe, if you don't have faith, don't waste your time. Because this message is definitely not for you. God is right. Don't waver between two opinions. He knows what he's choosing. And if you're here and you have faith, these words are for you. This is the sign you've been waiting for. The answer to your question is to cry, weep and pray. If you are looking for a solution to your problem. And here I am answering your call. It's no coincidence. You hear these words when you need them most. And my Holy Spirit surrounds you and strengthens your life. But I choose the right moment for you to feel my love. I prepare you in many ways, with powerful words, phrases and messages written in the Bible that flash before your eyes as you speak with your heart. Today you have prepared your heart to listen to me, renew your covenant with me and give me confidence and trust. And put all your hope in me. I choose your cry. If you believe that, you won't be anxious if your words don't reach the ceiling. From the first day you cried out, an angel departed from my heavenly throne, holding the key to your deliverance. You are a very special person. There is a battle for your life in heaven. The enemy just wants you to crawl on the ground, they don't want to see you win. But my soldiers are fighting the forces of evil for your future in heaven. Any conflict that suddenly arises in your life is no accident. From now on you must be sincere and very intelligent. Be careful what you say. Don't share your secrets with anyone. Be careful who you trust. The enemy wants to eat you. Find the weakness in your soul. He wants to destroy you with lies and deceit. Try to destroy your faith. Your future is full of wonders and miracles. A supernatural life awaits you. Maybe now, for a while, you will have afflictions, but your problems are not eternal. They will soon pass. The sadness that afflicts you will go. And I say to you with boldness and faith. Don't let adversity divert your focus. I was created to win, to conquer, to triumph. Don't let the words of others determine your destiny. You are a valuable person. Those who offend you will come back, ask for forgiveness and will not deny it. But your faith and trust will be in me alone. If people come and promise you the world, you won't believe them. No one can bless you and save you from evil. No one has the true words that only I can give you. I don't talk or lie. But if you stop believing in me and start believing in the empty promises of false people, the blessings you have received will disappear and some will never return. If so, now is your time. Let your faith be rooted in these powerful and eternal words. Alive and active. Always firm and true. Don't let empty words and false promises confuse you. I was made to experience the supernatural, experience the impossible and see the incredible. Choose my love, my comfort, my embrace. Come every morning and make the sincere decision to listen to me and regret those words that show you the way and give you a reason to fight. Come without fear. I'd like to hear that too. No matter how you come or how you feel, my door is open and my ears are open. Before the sun rises, this is the perfect time to cast your spell and feel my love envelop you. Speak to me, for your words are the echo of your thoughts. Don't be afraid and don't hesitate. I'm here to listen, welcome and support you. 
share your dreams, needs, frustrations and doubts with me. Please tell me why I am your friend and the only one who understands and gets you. The winds of anguish will blow over you, you will experience unexpected moments of sadness, and the scourge of humiliation and cruelty will break your spirit and suffocate you. You need peace and my word will give it to you. I speak with a strong heart. You will remain calm in the face of difficulties. When you feel the need, you will be strong. And you will not be afraid when you feel that you are disappearing. You will keep my promise. And when your burden becomes unbearable, come to me. Don't forget that I am always with you. Times can be tough. The tests may be intense, but here we are. I'm ready to listen to you. So you understand. To say hello. Don't doubt the blessings you'll find along the way. I bless you because I love you and because I choose to do so with grace and mercy. You are dear, loved and precious to me. My love for you is unbreakable and eternal. Today is a special day, a day of victory that you will never forget. With myself, I will give you eternal life. There will be no more tears or pain before me. Open your eyes and the problems you face will disappear. The help you've been waiting for is on its way, but the supplies you need haven't arrived yet. This is a time of change, a moment of change. You are destined to live a life of abundance, joy, and peace. Don't let anything or anyone stop you on your way to victory. You are a winner. Don't forget to watch this video because God is going to connect directly with your heart today. This message is actually for you, so don't disturb it. Listen to what God is saying to you now. Because I'm already acting. In fact, God is teaching you right now to preach the word and pray for you. For those of you listening, this song is for you. I understand how difficult it is to keep the faith and persevere in faith and prayer because the situation is so confusing and complex. But when God tells us to stop trembling, now is the day, now is the time, now is the moment. You seek confirmation and ask God to clarify your thoughts. You face a difficult situation or a crossroads in life and, faced with this problem, you suddenly become anxious and afraid and choose the wrong path. There are many doubts in your mind. But God has sent me to tell you to calm down. Don't make hasty decisions, don't make hasty judgments, don't jump to conclusions, don't let worries and fears overwhelm you. You seek validation and cry out for answers. Listen to what God says today. Even if you don't understand what is happening, you must continue to trust me. I'm already working in your life and God has declared it. Now I've tried to change things. I'm already working to bring a new season into your life. Don't think that I don't hear your prayers. Don't assume that you don't see what's happening. No, I'm involved, but behind the scenes in the spirit world. So you can't see it, but you'll soon see the result of everything I've done so far. I clarify every decision you make so that you don't act rashly. Now all you have to do is take a deep breath and believe. I am the God who opened the Red Sea, if you believe in me, I will open paths even where you think they don't exist. I realize that the person I trusted the most may have betrayed me, abandoned me, or let me down. But I am their Lord and I am faithful. Those you trusted most may have turned away from you just when you needed them most, but I, I will never turn away the people you reached out to have now given you the back of their hand but I, I am your God I will never leave you I will never forsake you I will hold you in the palm of my hand I will guide you on your way I will shelter you under my wings I will keep you safe. I am your blesser. He will not allow you to lack anything. But it is essential that you remain calm. Breathe. You need to calm down. Because God wants to separate you before that time comes, because he's going to draw the water. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to discourage you. Take you from where you are now to a higher place. I will allow you to face some obstacles. But this is so that you can grow, mature, and discover gifts and talents you didn't know you had. It's a process of improvement. God also says that some people really will walk away from you and you shouldn't try to push them away either. You may not realize it, but these people are not really your allies. They don't want you to be happy and they don't add anything to your life. So if someone decides to leave, it's God's decision to leave. Look how beautiful that is, God. Today see how the whole dynamic of our prayer speaks directly to you, directly to your heart. 
so don't apologize anymore. Don't say that God doesn't listen to you, that he doesn't care about you, that he doesn't exist. He stopped what he was doing and focused his words directly on her mind. Then stay calm. God is speaking to you now, revealing this to the person he really wants to reach with this word, the person he really wants to reach with this message. God has revealed to me that he is now using my voice, mouth, and words to reach those of you who are seeking signs, answers and guidance from him. And the first instructions he gave were, stay calm. Trust me. Don't doubt yourself. Opponents will try to confuse you. Don't let these doubts weaken your faith. An anxious heart full of fear is controlled by God more than anyone else, and the enemy is far from me. Now is the time to stay calm and keep believing. I have placed the promise in your heart and I have fulfilled it. I will guide you safely to your final destination. I implore the divine to really witness divine providence at work in your life, bringing miracles, transforming scenarios with urgency. I want you to pray with me every day. Not only will you strengthen your faith, but you will also grow spiritually. You will become a truly powerful magnet of blessings. I even want you to do me the honor of interceding for you today and in the days to come. Now, write in the comments with faith. My help comes from the Lord. Declare it in faith as you write. I see God entering the battlefield on your behalf. So don't hesitate. I really think you have a great testimony to share with me. So don't panic when faced with a situation that you think you can handle on your own. God has provided for it. God will enter this battle. You are not alone. I really don't believe in coincidences or bad luck. Or no, I don't believe in that. I believe in divine providence. If you're listening to this now, it's already a move of God in your life, because there are battles that you really won't win on your own, conflicts that you won't overcome on your own. You need a solid spiritual covering. That's why I want you to allow me the honor of praying for you every day. That's why I want you to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, so that I can intercede for you constantly. For your life. It's simple. Just stand there and wait. When you click, a bell-shaped icon will appear. Try clicking on the bell-shaped icon too. Now, when you see the word all, you can click on it without worrying. In this simple way, whenever I'm here to pray for you, you'll receive a notification on your cell phone telling you that you can receive the blessing of the day for free. I signed you up? Excellent! Blessings and victories will continue in your life in the future. Did you know that when people make videos full of pornography, drunkenness, etc., they can upload them to YouTube very easily? But if you win here and talk about God, it seems that your reach stops. Everything gets more complicated. That's why your love, your anger, is so important. This is exactly what YouTube needs to do to improve its videos, so that they can become illegal and a blessing to more people. So please enjoy this video now. Express this message with gestures of love and faith so that it can be a blessing to more people. Oh, great God, I cry out to you to bless this man. Do you know why, Father? Because you've reached your limit. When I talk about limits, I mean physical, mental, spiritual and emotional limits. It's like a grenade about to explode. So touch this person's life, Father. This person may not know me personally, but we have a sacred connection. So he's like a big brother to me. Act with your power in this person's life, just as you changed mine. Change that person's life. Just as you worked a miracle in my life, please work a miracle in this person's life today not just tomorrow, we are praying for your urgent help. So, my Lord, act now in your power. Look at this life, look at this situation, Father, God is working even at this moment. We believe in miracles, we believe in your actions. Well, today is the day, Father. Where are you going to visit this house, this place, this family? Father, enter this heart now. This heart is so confused and distressed. God enters this heart as a father full of sadness and suffering. Oh God, please put that spirit in your life, Father, that spirit that really lives even in the worst of times. Because it's pure chaos everywhere, in every direction. It's just confusion. Stop this mess now, for God's sake. 
Now, Father, stop this commotion. God bring victory to the sentimental life of this man who can no longer suffer. Oh God, how my heart aches. Lord, give victory to those who suffer greatly because of their drug-addicted children. Lord, give victory to those who suffer because of husbands who drink too much. Father, please bring victory to those who suffer pain that cannot be relieved with medication. This man who suffers from insomnia is the father who gives him victory. For this person who can't get a job even after hearing this. For this man full of God. Lord, Father, give me victory now. Bring a miracle, God. To this person who is discouraged, bring a miracle, God. To this person who is nervous because the doctors say he needs surgery. God, do what the medicines, what the doctors can't do. I want to receive the testimony of this person, my father. Act with your power also in the life of this heart that suffers from the grief of someone who was gone. It still doesn't accept it. For these wounds, act with your power in the life of this woman who has been betrayed, who has been abandoned, who has been deceived, who has been humiliated. This self-love, this self-esteem, Father, act with your power by raising this person's head now. From now on, you will have more courage, more willingness, more courage, more determination to overcome challenges, overcome obstacles and not only walk through life, but pursue your dreams again. Open the paths, Father, break the chains, the bandages, the walls. Open the paths. Cut down the doors. May this person be reached by your goodness, surrounded by your love and experience a time of victories, of answers, a time of bonanza, of goodness, of abundance and prosperity in all areas. Step in with your help urgently, Father, not tomorrow or the day after, but today, now, in this moment, in Jesus' name.